Hello, here is a popular maths problem I found on social media. What's half of 2 to the 22nd? And before we try to solve the problem, what do you think is the answer? And here are some options for you. So take a guess. And besides this problem, we will also solve these other three problems, each adding a new twist. So let's get started. First, let's take care of the options that cannot be true, as option A is 1. As for figuring out the correct option, well, this doesn't really make it easier. So let's do some practical maths. Oh, and let's start with a simpler example. Half of anything is just that number over 2. So in this case, it is 1. Now, let's go back to our original question and divide it by 2. This can just be written in terms of powers and is easily solvable. So option C it is. Now that this question has been solved, let's move on. Now what is different in the second question is that the base is not 2. Well, I trust you, so take another educated guess and then I'll walk you through the steps to solve this. All right, so first look at this formula and imagine D represents 8 and A represents 2. And since we have 8 to some power over here, we can write D to the C representing the numerator. Now let's put the value of D to get A to the B C. And since A to the B C is our numerator and A is also 2, we can also add the denominator like this and simplify our formula to get BC minus 1 in the exponent. Now we can input the value of 8 in terms of 2, which gets us the equivalent of A to the BC over A. So again, let's simplify this to get our answer, which is option C. All right, on to the next one. For the third problem, we have a negative number. Yay! Anyways, you know the drill by now. Divide it by 2 and use your brain. And for this one, we don't need to worry about the negative sign. We can just ignore it. And then, since 10 cannot be perfectly divided by 2, we separate a 10 and this 2 from the powers of 10. And we get 5. So now, the answer is very obvious. Option B is our answer. And let's move on. Only the fourth one is left now. So let's solve it. This time, the exponent 6 is in negative which is easy to fix. Let's divide by 2. And all we need to do is put the 6 underneath the fraction. Now let's look at the options. And uh, they do not seem to match. But that is no problem. We will just simplify it even more. Now, since most of the options are in powers of 2 and 3, we should also turn the 6 into powers of 2 and 3. So by doing this, we get 2 and 3 to the 6th power in place of our 6 and we can easily solve this and then move everything to the top. So we eventually get option C as our answer. Great. And if you liked the video, be sure to give a like and consider subscribing.